guys and welcome to this week's weekly vlog. It has been a little while and excuse the fact I'm coming from this absolute bomb site of a room. I am <clears throat> back at my mum's at the moment and obviously haven't been vlogging for the past few weeks. Um, I think lots of you probably already know because I have written a blog post about it but Harry and I split up just over a month ago now. Um, I'm obviously not going to go into all the details about it because it's personal and there's two people involved and so it's just you know not as simple as sharing everything all of the time um but we just decided that we would be happier and better going our separate ways um after six years together so our whole adult lives a really really long time we've known each other since we were 11 um so yeah i have moved out of manchester um and i'm back at my mum's which is why it's like bomb site because so much stuff has now descended into one bedroom which is quite stressful um, so today I'm actually um, going to go down to London because I'm also going to be moving down there now which is quite exciting it's also really 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 overwhelming and um, I basically didn't want to stay in Manchester um, all of my friends are split between either Leeds or London and so career wise there was no point whatsoever moving back to Leeds it was like a now or never moment so I'm going to do it even though it's not my favourite place in the world it's you know I'm going to sign for an apartment or a flat for a year hopefully and a year just flies by so we'll see how it goes but I really really want to vlog the whole process of moving down to London basically because I think it's something a lot of people will probably do in their lives at some point especially people in their 20s um, and it's stressful and it's really overwhelming so um, I've kind of been I'm actually this filming this at the end of the week I've already been vlogging this week and I've not done the best job of vlogging it's been hard to get my vlogging mojo back it's crazy how quickly you get out of practice with it because obviously I haven't been doing it for a few weeks um, but yeah I wanted to share the process of moving down so I'm going to keep hopefully doing that hopefully we'll find something really soon be moving down in the next month or two months basically um, so yeah lots and lots and lots of big life changes the, I'm going to leave the blog post that I wrote which kind of goes into it a little bit more linked in the description box um, and thank you to every person who's commented messaged me everything it's been in so incredibly overwhelming I didn't expect such a response but really really reassuring really inspiring because so many of you have shared your own stories as well so thank you so much to everybody I know that Harry has been a really really big part of these vlogs for a really long time and that a lot of you will definitely miss seeing him um, so I'm sorry I'm sorry for that obviously this is a part of lots of people's 20s um, a part of growing up, a part of life and I still hope that you guys want to follow me along through this, follow me along through Moving Cities. Again, I know a lot of you like the fact that I was based out of Manchester and based out of the North when there are so many vloggers in London um, but hopefully you guys will want to stay along with this. My content won't change, you know, I'm still filming the same things, still like the same things, still have the same interests, everything like that even though I do feel like my entire life is currently upside down um, but yeah just gonna get into the vlog now it's not the best so it's just not the best one but we'll get there we'll get there again this is all a work in progress good morning everybody just on my way to meet Lindsay for some breakfast look how big this jacket looks when I'm sat down um, we are gonna go to Granger and Co near Notting Hill and she's coming with me to look at a couple of flats this morning it's very exciting we're not gonna be moving in together aren't Lindsay and I I'm just gonna be living on my own but I wanted her to come with me because she's nothing if not very brutally honest about things all the time so I thought she'd be a good person to bring along to something like this um, so I'm very excited really to have a look and also excited for some breakfast and coffee and then I've got a meeting at half 12 and then on the train back home to Manchester at 3 which is where my car is because I dropped my car off there yesterday to go to the gym and then we'll drive back to mum's so all over the place today I've put up a blog post today explaining everything that's been going on recently so I'm feeling a little bit nervous about all the feedback but I also know it's all going to be positive so I'm like frantically checking my phone <laughs> at the moment I need to stop doing that so thankfully I'm busy today I think that's going to be definitely a good thing so breakfast first and then house viewings I'm here with Selinsley. Hi! Crying about babies. She <laughs> loves babies so much. Just had breakfast, it was good. We're on our way to go see the first place now. And Lindsay keeps putting stuff on Instagram stories that makes it look like we're living together. <laughs> Just really want to stress that we're not. Hi! Oh, yeah. She's like, we're going flat. Honey. She's never going to get rid of me. I'm literally moving in. She doesn't even know yet. <laughs> 
back in Manchester now. Just, I've got lipstick on my chin. Yep, probably. Just about to set off back home. Look, she's had to pick up some stuff. Um, house viewing was uneventful. We saw like four or five. I really don't think that I can ever film them. I'm sure illegally you probably can't film inside. Um, there was one that was nice, which was like a one bed. Ideally, I want two beds because I want an office and if people want to come and stay, like mum wants to come and stay, you always want to be able to put someone up. Um, but the only one that was nice was a one bed and it had like a huge living area. Um, so that was the only one that I really liked, but I didn't love it. And obviously it's expensive. So I think I'm going to look around again on Tuesday um, with the same estate agent because he was really good um, and really on it and just seemed really organised so I was impressed with that. So yeah, I think I'm going to go back on Tuesday and have another look around. Today's been a very, very, very overwhelming day because um, the blog post that I wrote, I think I said this earlier, has gone live and um, I've had so many messages, I mean like so much more than I thought, emails, comments, tweets, direct messages people friends texting me just so so much and I, I'm not even attempted to start replying to some of them but it's been amazing thank you so much for every single comment everyone's been so lovely and so kind it's just really 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 overwhelming in a in a positive way though so oh, I need to plug my phone in so yeah I'm just going to oh I've left the charger in the back of the bloody car all right I'm just gonna get the charger out of the boot and then on my way home we'll see Percy yay also I'm not doing very well at vlogging at the moment guys I've not been doing it so you kind of get out of practice of remembering to do it but hopefully I'll improve over the weekend Percy I think mum's got new chairs in the kitchen by the way everybody oh it's very pink one sec there we go new chair where's Daphne where's Percy I don't know do you want to go out no, yay or nay? Not very good at explaining what you want. Percy! Is he not in there with you, Mum? No. He's not in here with you? No, he's so far and I've gone out. Oh, Percy! Are you going to say hello? Hi! <laughs> Morning, guys. I am just about to film testing base it's the end section of the t-shirts one this one has taken me so long to do i don't know why there's no reason it should have taken this long so i'm just gonna do that i've been doing the work this morning planning content like crazy for the next few weeks and everything's coming together which is really good um <clears throat> and oh my gosh there's just stuff everywhere all my stuff's unpacked everywhere still where's percy mum Where's Percy? Oh, I still need to try and get him on the camera. And he just keeps not being around when I need him. Percy! He was in the garage, which is why the garage is half crank. He loves to run in the garage. How are you going to say the ch word? Let's see if this works. Who loves chicken? Percy does. It's quite handy that that works though. Yes. No? Yes, it is. It's very handy. It's, as long as I have chicken, it's a have under control. <laughs> we are going to go into town today to look for a new film camera because mine, I currently use the Olympus XA. It's like this. It's driving me nuts to focus it. It's like got a range finder, so it it's like there's like an aura around the image and it lines up with what you see through the lens and you have to focus it using this thing at the bottom. This and it's so stiff and so awkward and just not quick to use. So I really want to go get a new one. So I've been messaging Paul, the film photographer, and asking for his advice. And Mum and I are gonna go into Leeds to a camera shop called West Yorkshire Camera. I think that is just what it's called actually. And we're going to see if I can find a new film camera. I'm very excited. Very much the lean leather jacket, which I never wear. It's not good. The next station is Leeds. This train terminates here. Please. 
come to lunch at Friends of Ham. It's like a charcuterie cheese place. It's very good. Charcuterie is one of my favourite words actually. It's a really, really pleasing word to say. Charcuterie. Here it is. Delicious. I'm sure they'll be on the internet. That's fine, thank you. Thank you. Hi guys, it's actually Sunday evening now. I went into town and met Alex, my old housemate, for brunch and forgot to flipping put the memory card in the vlog camera because I haven't got my vlogging mojo going on at the moment. Just on our way out to shoot some photos on my film camera for ASOS because it's a beautiful light and I think it'll turn out really good on film. So we're just going to go do that and um, then I've got some more work to do. I've worked all afternoon. Um, I'm just very, very, very behind on things at the moment because <laughs> I'm not the most efficient as I've ever been. So everything's taking me a bit longer than usual and I'm very overwhelmed by everything right now. So lots of late night working at the moment. Um, but yeah, we're going to go take these photos now, which will be nice. And then a bit more work. Oof. I had a good day with Alex, so it was really nice. So it was like a day off because we went for some brunch. We had a very long, leisurely brunch, brunch, which was really good. Um, yeah, shooting. Just about to have a bath. I'm reading this book. I was reading it when I was in LA. It's absolutely crap, but I'm too far in now to give up, but don't recommend it. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to this. So I am in bed now. I'm just gonna go to sleep. Um I'm sorry this vlog hasn't necessarily been the best. I, it's like it's really crazy how quickly you get out of practice of just remembering to pick up the camera all the time. And obviously most of it was taken up by the segment explaining everything at the beginning um but i'm gonna just keep i'm gonna upload whatever we've got and i'm just sorry it's, if it's not been the best um and keep vlogging next week because i'm not house hunting next week i'm going to wimbledon next week as well so next week's a really exciting and busy week it's Lindsay's 30th birthday party so there's lots going on next week so i will vlog in hopefully start to remember to pick up the camera a bit more um but yeah thank you so much for watching i'm um, sorry it hasn't been the best one um and i'll see you in the next one